Make, make, make it stop, make it stop. Make, make, make it stop, make it stop. Make it stop, make it stop to play with. Make it stop, make it stop to eat. Make it stop, let's all go to the house. Make it stop, let's do friends to meet. So come on, ready, get to go as we are here. Stop the show. Make, make it stop, make it stop. What are we making with this huge sheet of metal, Wiz? Cutlery, starting with spoons. Uh, that's way too big. Let's cut it. Better, but still too big for a spoon. We need to cut it into smaller pieces. Well, let's give him a hand, Wiz. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. We have spoon-sized metal, Wiz. So, let's cut a spoon. Here it goes. Cut, chunk. Nice, and it's... Not quite ready for cereal yet. Next, we use a belt sander to smooth it out. That'll get out all the little scratches. A little rinse. This belt is finer, so it gets the spoon even smoother. Belt sanders give so much and ask so little. They're heroes. Just look at that spoon. Smooth. Ooh. Whoa, what's this? It's called a die. This will give our spoon that nice bowl shape. That's what I've been waiting for. Flat spoon goes in. Wait for it. Ka-chunk. Very nice. Wow. Excellent. Cool. Beautiful. Now that's a fork. I, I mean spoon. I, I meant spoon. Now it gets buffed and polished. All the way inside the little scoop. Looking good, spoonies. Now, what if I need a fork? It's almost the same as making a spoon, but with little slots in it. You're right. Then... Cut off. We cut off the end. Nice fork. Now we're off to the... Belt sander! A special belt sander designed just for forks. These are high quality forks, so we even smooth in between the teeth. Look at the difference. Can I see? Can I see? Hmm, the one on the right has nice tapered teeth. Great work! Whoa, what's going on here? Knives are a little different. You need to grind them so they're thick and strong at the top and thin and sharp at the bottom. Makes them better for cutting. Then it gets smooth and polished so it looks like this. What a difference! Knives here are also different because they get a fancy handle. He's drilling a hole in it now. Now all we have to do is insert the blade. In it goes. It looks... Well, I don't think anybody expected this. This step is very important. The hot water makes the handle expand just a little. Oh, so it opens up so we can just tap in the metal part really gently. <laughs> and when it cools, it shrinks and locks it in tight. This cloth wheel gives it a nice shine. Sweet! Now we smooth out the blade to get rid of any little scratches or marks. Nice! One thing I know about buffing metal at this speed, it gets hot. Smoking hot! So we wipe it cool. Another wheel. This one does something special. Ooh, the little cutting teeth. Then we grind it a little more to give it that nice cutting edge. So it cuts like a knife. Finally, a little polishing. Ooh, to make it shiny. How's my hair? <laughs> Wiz, our cutlery looks so good, I think it needs a name. That's what this does. It uses electricity and a mild acid to burn the name on. So she's gonna write Gears and Wiz? Oh, well, this is nice too. <laughs> that was hard work, but it was worth it, Wiz. Look how beautiful and shiny it looks. It's perfect. That is some classy cutlery. Or two classy robots. <laughs> now, which spoon do we use for motor oil? 